Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric. And this cute little electric moped I'm sitting on today is the Swift Max. We're gonna take it on a review and you're coming along with us. Let's check it out. The Swift Max is a fun little electric moped that straddles the line between e-bikes and e-scooters. It rides like a scooter, but is priced like an ultra affordable e-bike, especially with the sale they have going on now. More on that in a moment. First, let's talk shop and see which features the Swift Max here stole from scooters and which are from e-bikes. First off, it has all the comfort you'd expect from a scooter. Unlike a small bicycle saddle, you've got a nice big plush seat. There are even fold-out foot pegs and enough room on the seat so you can bring a passenger. My wife served as my test passenger, but she ended up liking the scooter so much that she just stole it for herself. What do you think? To get some more saddle time in the beginning, I had to take the back seat. Though now I can at least vouch that the scooter is quite comfortable, either as the driver or the passenger. And just like you'd expect from a scooter, there's real suspension here too, which is more than you'd find on most e-bikes. The hydraulic suspension is great on speed bumps, and other times when the roads aren't perfect smooth planes. The other scooter niceties are there as well. Things like under-seat storage, USB charging, a bag clip and storage compartment up front, full LED light package including turn signals, high and low beams, hazard lights, brake lights, etc. The works. There's a nice hydraulic disc brake up front, while the rear gets a drum brake. Most of the braking force on a two-wheeled vehicle is provided up front anyways, and the rear drum brake still seems to work just fine, so no complaints from me there. You get a side kickstand and a center kickstand, and of course you should always use the center stand since it's more stable, though the side stand is nice in a hurry on level ground. I've also found that the scooter is nice and nimble. Those 10 inch wheels may be small, but they certainly help you wiggle around just about anything with ease. They also keep the scooter nice and low and stable. At a stop you can easily flat foot it even from the rear seat. It just makes it that much more comfortable to ride since you can easily reach the ground. On the performance side, the Swift Max pretty much falls in line with something akin to a Class 2 electric bike. We've got a hub motor in the rear that they claim is 400 watts, but feels like the acceleration I'm used to in a typical 750 watt e-bike. Also, this would be the most gigantic 400 watt motor I've ever seen, so I'm guessing that rating is a bit underrated. The top speed of the Swift Max is also e-bike like, at just 20 miles per hour. That's not particularly fast for a scooter, but is normal e-bike speed. That's also the biggest thing I wish I could change here. I'd love for some more top speed. The battery here is a 48 volt and 20 amp hour lead acid unit that is built right into the moped, so no removing it for remote charging. You'll need to charge in your garage or somewhere else with access to a wall plug or extension cord. That's the other area I might have changed. A bigger battery and maybe a lithium upgrade. With 960 watt hours of capacity, they claim 38 miles of range, but that's probably with luck and a tailwind. Based on my riding, it seems like 25 miles of reasonably relaxed riding is more likely in real world conditions. At least in the beginning, while those lead acid batteries are new. Lithium would have been nicer, but then it would be harder to achieve this price. While the Swift Max has an MSRP of $1,999, it's on sale right now for just $1,499. Link in the description below this video. At $500 off, that is a crazy good price. $1,500 for an electric moped with hydraulic suspension and braking, seating for two, full light package, alarm system on the key fob, mirrors, storage, etc, etc, etc. It's hard to find a decent e-bike for that much these days, let alone a scooter. But of course, therein lies the rub. It's not an e-bike. At least, not technically. It's not a bicycle since it doesn't have any pedals. But it's not really a motorcycle either, at least not legally in most states, since it only goes 20 miles an hour. So while the good news is that you don't need a motorcycle license to ride it, or even a car license for that matter, it doesn't necessarily mean you're a bike either. On the Best Buy sales page, they list it as a Class 2 electric bike, but the power of positive thinking can only take you so far. Just because you say something doesn't mean it's true. So you'll likely want to check with your local state or city laws to make sure you're 6, 8, and straight, since e-bike regulations often require a pair of functional pedals. Then there's another issue. Where do you ride it? Are you a vehicle or aren't you? On the road, I tend to get a little more respect from cars when I'm on the Swift Max than when I'm on one of my electric bicycles, since they tend to assume I'm a normal gas scooter on this thing. But then, when the speed of traffic picks up, I'm stuck on the side of the road getting passed by drivers. Then I have the bike lane dilemma. Can I ride in it? 
Should I ride in it? Yeah, I'm not a bike, but neither are those Lime or Bird scooters, and they ride there, though they also don't weigh 160 pounds like my scooter here. Then you've got cases like this road here, which is a 50 mile per hour posted road, and cars are usually going 60. So of course, I'm over here on the mixed use bike slash pedestrian lane. But then if I come up upon a cyclist, I'm not sure what to do. I give the ol' on your left to let the cyclist know I'm coming up and passing. But even then, I'm not sure if this is kosher or not. What I am sure of is that it feels a bit not cool. So basically, I've pretty much stuck to riding in the road when there are not a lot of cars, and riding in the bike lane when there aren't a lot of bikes. It's not a perfect solution, but it seems to work. And it represents the hybrid situation that the Swift Max has going on here. In one sense, it's a scooter. If it walks like a scooter and quacks like a scooter, what else can you call it? But then it has performance that matches most of my e-bikes. So I see it as a nice in-between. It does what an e-bike can do, but in a more comfortable and more utilitarian way. Just don't ask me to lift it onto an elevated bike rack. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Swift Max electric moped. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.